Hey guys, welcome back to Program Up. And today in this episode, we're gonna review Autodesk Inventor software for the MacBook Pro with the M1 Pro processor. So guys, currently we have the 16-inch MacBook Pro with the M1 Pro processor. That's the base model version. And on this, I would like to review about Inventor software. So firstly, many of you had been asking about whether we can run Inventor on the MacBook Pro with the M1 Pro processor or not. So the direct answer to that is no. You cannot run Inventor natively on the macbooks because autodesk do not makes it so if you want to use inventor you'll be needing a windows environment for running that and that requires an installation of virtual machine on the macbooks so if you want to use inventor on macbook with the m1 pro processor or any of the processor you'll be requiring to install virtual machine using parallels and by the way we have already made a review about parallels if you want to check that video so the link is in the top right corner you can click there and have a look so let's get ahead so firstly guys you'll be requiring to install virtual machine and inside the virtual machine you can install the arm 64 version of windows 11 so windows 11 is currently available for arm 64 version so if you want that you can download it from the link down into the description below and let's talk about the performance that we get so guys firstly i would like to tell you all that i'm not an intense user or i'm not an user professional user either of inventor i do not use the software so i'll just be reviewing that whether you can use it or not from my prior perspective what i have went through and what i knew about it and what i have got as an experience while testing the software so when we tried to install the software and test the software so what we got to see is that the current version of the inventor is not able to extract right into the right way on the macbook so the extraction process was a little bit more buggy so we didn't got to extract the software because after downloading there's an extraction to be done so that was a little bit buggy and we got a lot of time into it and we did not got it extracted properly so we finally downloaded the inventor 2019 version and that got extracted properly and after that we tried installing that on windows in the parallels using a virtual machine so we installed that finally and when we tried to run that so some initial tests what we tried to do over here was just to do some scaling zooming and trying to pinch zoom and try to try to use the tools inside that so what i found basically here was that we can use inventor on the macbooks with the m1 pro processor or else or any one of the apple silicon processors we can use it but the problem over here is into the performance so guys if i have to talk about performance the issue is right now with the inventor not supporting into the arm processor versions so right now these macbooks are built upon the arm processors and inventor is currently not optimized for that as well as there's one more problem and that is with the windows virtual machines right now the windows virtual machines that we are running is not a native machine so it does not act like a native machine onto the macbooks the reason for that is because ultimately that's a virtual machine so it would be using a fragmented part of the gpu or let's say the cpu so everything would be used into a fragmented part so obviously if you use a native windows machine on that you can get a much more better performance than on the macbooks with the m1 pro also there the gpu can be more better utilized because they have nvidia gpus which are supported by the autodesk softwares so autodesk softwares have a great optimization for nvidia or the amd cpu so that is really good over there as compared to the macbooks with the m1 pro or the apple silicon gpus so the GPUs over here also do not support up to the most of the time. So that's the reason we get a stuttering laggy performance when you try to use that. So my overall review about this topic would be like if you're purchasing the new MacBook Pros with the M1 Pro processor for inventors specifically, I won't recommend it to you. The reason for that would be because it's obviously clear that if you're a primary user of that software and this is your primary machine, so this won't provide you the right optimization the right performance that you actually require and for which you'll be investing that expensive amount of money onto this machine so this is a really expensive machine and if it did not get the performance for what you're looking into so that would be a really mess for you so that's the reason i won't be recommending you to go for this machine if you want to specifically use inventor software and the one thing that i would recommend to you is that you should be choosing a windows native machine you can choose any 
another laptop that would be coming with the native windows software for example you can go along with lenovo legion 5 pro that can be one of the best machine for inventor as well as for all other autodesk softwares so windows machine native windows machine would always be a better choice for using any of the softwares made by autodesk so guys this is my complete review about this topic and my thoughts about this topic and if you've got any more questions any more opinions about this topic please leave that down into the comment section below we'll be happy to read that and reply to you if in case required and if you liked our video, please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Meet in the next episode. Till then, goodbye.